Welcome back to another episode of Oak and Rock Fatherhood. I'm your host, Anthony Miglarino, alongside with Zach Small. And today we're going to talk parenting, peaceful parenting, fatherhood. Main topic today is going to be sharing your kids in social media. And this is something that, Zach, I know that you you do a lot of, right? You're showing off the, the love and the connection of your family often. So I want to pick your brain. I want to see what your insight is and some ideas of of this topic and why it's so important. Absolutely, man. You know, and it, I have caught a lot of heat for this. And it's always the same, you know, I'd say insults. <laughs> hey, you're using your kids as props. Hey, you're only sharing them because you want to get the photo. Oh, look at this dad using his kids, you know, to get more likes and things. It's absolutely ridiculous because you don't see people catching that when they're sharing their booze and they're sharing the party and they're sharing the models, the girls. It's not the same hate. You know, you can share a nice car, but you can't share your kids. And that is a problem. Yeah. I mean, that's insanity if you think about it. How has sharing photos or memories of a healthy family, a happy family, how has that become so demonized or even thought of as a, as a negative? Right? Why are we promoting it more? Why are you know, we I showing? That, no, no, it's, it's a great question. And when I look at it or when I ask myself, like, why are these people hating on something that's like, in my opinion, so good? There's two things that come to mind. One we live in a world where everybody has a voice. You know, social media has given literally everyone a voice without there being any requirement to speak. So you have people who are, are talking about family and let's say focus on what we're talking about, kids. We're talking about parenting, talking about their kids, their happy life and all these things. And you know, it's not true. You know what they're sharing is a falsehood, you know, because a lot of these people are like, I know this guy and his, his kids, they hate him. But look at all these happy smiles on Facebook and all these things. So there, there's that issue that, that people who are in poor relationships could talk about great relationships. And there's also, and this sort of falls in the same vein, you know, the, the marketing of it. People are trying to sell with everything. And even family has become a business. It's become a market, a niche where people can sell, they can advertise, they can use their family as props to push a course, to push coaching, to push whatever they want to push. And people are tired of it because time after time after time, these individuals are exposed. They're showing that, look, they they didn't have that great relationship with their kid or they they were using them to sort of sell a product. And you find out, we were speaking earlier, somebody who's selling you the coaching course or they're talking to them and sharing their family online about how great they are. And then the next month they're divorced. Well, last month you were trying to tell me how to maintain a healthy marriage and now you're getting divorced. That doesn't align. And that has happened so many times that anybody – even with the best intentions, who is living the life and living authentically, when you share it, it's almost like you've got to prove it. <laughs> you've got to show it, you know, through through various means that you're actually legit. You're not just trying to, again, use your kids as props. And I've been accused of it. And I'm sort of at the point now where I have the social proof. A lot of the men in the fraternity of excellence have met my wife. You know, uh, we went to a convention. You know, my wife was there. They saw her and I. They're like, all right, so there's something there. And year after year, I mean, I've been doing this since 2015, you know, and I was writing under the pen name, but I understood early on, I'd have to show the, the receipts for people to understand that I'm not some, some overweight black chick sitting in a basement writing about whatever, you know, <laughs> like I had to show like, Hey, I am who I say I am. My relationship is what I say, but never did I put my, my proving to the world ahead of my relationship and connection with my family. And that's why this topic is one I really wanted to talk about because there is a fine line. There are moments that aren't for the world. There are photos that should be kept within your inner circle and not put out to be dissected by the masses. So, so there is a, a line you walk, but we have to stop defaulting to every photo of a family is a bad thing or, or some sort of angle that's on it. Maybe people are just proud of their family and they're sharing that. And it's okay for happiness to be shared because if you can share, you know, the consumption of these material things, why can't I share a photo of presence in the real world? Yeah. Yeah. In the real world, right? So what is what is the reality, right? What are we striving to, to do or who are we striving to become? And there's so many people who put content up that is all about status. It's all about um, who, you know, not who you are, but what you have. And I think that the more that you can show the family that you're building, right? It, it's always not going to be the the best moments, the most positive moments. 
but just being honest about right those conversations we, we talk about it all the time there's things you struggle with as a father those should be shared also right it's not just about sharing all the wins you've shared posts i've seen where your son loses a football game but there's lessons in that right there's lessons in that and everything and that's teaching your kid those lessons um and it doesn't have to be shared on social media but my my point is is right there's there's good and bad it is it's who you are and when the persona or the image is always shown of being positive and everything's great, like you said, there, there's people you see post after post, vacation, fancy car, right, big house. And then next month they say, oh, my wife cheated on me and she's leaving me. It's the marriage isn't working. It's the same thing with our kids, right? Why not, why not just be real about it? Be real about what we're doing, right? If, if we have struggles as a parent, let's talk about that. If we have wins, let's share that even more, right? The things that we're doing, I think especially, I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with social media, but the things that we're doing and we're winning in life, we definitely should be sharing that. Do you find a lot of what you post, do you think it's from maybe parents who are struggling? They might see what you're doing and maybe they're jealous or they think that they can never have that. I would say that's a smaller population than most think, you know, because that, that's an easy one to fall to, you know, obese people saying that jacked people are unhealthy or, or they're on steroids or that's a real thing. And it happens that fa family and fatherhood is no different than the bodybuilding community, no different than nutrition community, no different than finance community. There's always those who cannot. And therefore they say nobody else, everybody else should not. I can't get fit. So you should not be fit. And they're going to, they're going to find a way to detract from them, you know, but I view the bigger, the shots taken, they're not coming from family people. Most of the time, the trolls, they're single individuals. And, and somehow they're, they're, they take issue with a family that's connected because it goes against the narrative they've been sold. A lot of the times, you know, sharing something with my wife or sharing something with my children while being a man talking about masculinity, you know, individual, authentic living, pushing yourself as far as you could possibly go. Those are conflicting things. When you're living in a world of scarcity, I'm afraid I'm going to get divorced. Women are evil. Feminism's uh, cancer. All these things. There, there's so many discussions going on that it's like you can't see the other side of, the, of success. You know, if somebody who's grown up in poverty sees somebody who's rich, very few look to them and say, if they can do that, I can do that. No, they're like, I, I can't because of X, Y, Z. So when I share something with the family, a lot of the times it's that same mindset. Well, he has that wife and kids, but I was, I was cheated on or, you know, I, I had this happen to me with my girlfriend. She took advantage of me and therefore nobody should have it. I, they have all these excuses, so they'll take their shots. Now, the, the bigger market that's often sort of overlooked is the, I guess, the OPSEC. You know, you got your operational security. Well, you shouldn't be sharing your photos because what if down the line, you know, they don't want those photos out there or people are seeing photos of your kids. I think that is a valid argument. You know, sure. If you, That is why I'm super strict with what's being shown. I didn't share. So we, we lost a football game just yesterday. I had no photos of me in that moment with my kid. There are no photos of the game shared. There's no photos of me coaching shared. No photos of my son and I shared. Because I, as the coach, I'm in the moment with my kid. There's no need for me to be trying to capture that and share it with the world. There's no need for, for the whole world to see everything that happens within my family. We've had many discussions, many family events that were wicked personal. I mean, they, they were like some really great moments as a family, but they weren't for the world. So I didn't share those. So the photos you see of my kids are ones I'm allowing the world to see. And the reason I choose to share that is, again, there's sort of the social proof angle. I run a, a blog called The Family Alpha. I'm in the fraternity of excellence. Why in the world would you listen to me unless I can show you that I am a man doing things and I have a connected family? And again, it, year after year after year, like I said, the, the, the resistance, the status has been less and less and less because you start to silence the haters through your consistency. You just remain committed. Like my children are growing and you still like they're so happy and doing their thing. And it doesn't mean it's without issues. Like they're, they're children. We're going to go through things as a family. You know, my wife and I were still together. You still see the photos. You know, we just, I shared the wedding we went to. That's not fake. 
Those aren't poses for a camera. They just happen to be caught, and I chose to share them. Now, if we're going to look at a class of people that drive me crazy, and I'll get off my soapbox in a second, <laughs> it's the men who are trying to will the success and connection to occur. It's the ones who want to appear to be a good dad instead of being a good dad. The work has to be done first. Before you're connected to your kids, before you're talking about how you can improve your marriage, stop trying to look like your marriage is good and just work on it. Nothing I've shared is fake to what I live. You do see a lot of that though. Their marriage, need, they're working on their marriage. Their marriage is in the toilet, but they keep sharing photos at the carnival, at this, at that, doing these great things. Bro, you, you hate each other. Y'all are on the rocks. Now is not the time for you to share it with the world. So if I were in that position, I would not be sharing anything. I'd be doing the work to fix it. Yeah, it's a weird environment. If if let's say you you are not or you're not a good parent and you're hitting your kids and the, the home environment is chaotic and you're trying to display this image that something that you're not, not only are you lying to yourself, but like do you if you have to think about what your kids are seeing, right? They're seeing this guy on social media and like who who the hell is that guy? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Right. So it, it creates this whole like pile of deception with with who you are, what the family values are. Um, you know, I was, I was and the reason I brought it up, there's an ongoing joke in my home because peaceful fathers. So, you know, my my son will make a joke like, yeah, I'm going to go on social media and say my dad beats me. <laughs> and it's it sounds so, you know, we shouldn't joke about it, but he'll like do that to make a joke to kind of discredit me. Right. So it's 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 a funny thing because they know it's not true, right? If, if how ridiculous things are, the the way that I live my life and what I teach and what I talk about, you can meet my kids, you can have conversations with them, and they'll it'll shown to be true, um, which I, I think is you know something when when you are on social media and this is something I'm learning, right? I don't share a lot with my children because they're older now; they actually have all their own accounts. So they share themselves. And when I see posts from my kids, you know, I'm thrilled to see how they're growing, what they're doing, how they're not afraid to share who they genuinely are. Right. To me, that's important. And I think that's a big lesson that your kids are going to learn from you. Right. They're, they're going to see, hey, look, dad, he went on his he did his thing. He never lied. He sh he showed what the family was about. And I can't even imagine, you know, I see my kids, what they're doing. I can't even imagine how your kids are going to be because it's next level. So it's. Well, it's, when you look at that growth too, it, it, I've thought about this. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously we, we talk about this all frequently, you know, what, what is it looking like? Where are we going? What are we doing? And I've stressed to my kids since day, like social media is a part of uh, our society. Sure. You can tap off it and go do your thing. That's fine. I'm not against that. I think if I weren't doing this and I just had a job, I probably wouldn't have social media, you know? Fortunately, I discovered it and I learned how to make it work for me. You and I would not have met had I not had social media. You know, yeah. it's a tool to be used. And that's the lesson I've taught my kids. It's not something for you to boost the person you want to be. It's a place for you to share who you are and connect with other like-minded individuals that'll accelerate your growth to where you want to go. And I've been telling my kids that from the beginning. You know, it's a tool. It's a tool to be used. The issue is when you see these TikTok videos of the of little kids doing these dances, any parent worth a damn knows it didn't happen the first take. You made that kid sit there until they got it right. And I wonder how many parents are yelling at their kids, hey, do this so you get... I don't have videos like that. The stuff you see, I can't get my kids to do anything. Like They're, they're out playing in the world. We're not going to sit and do dances. You know, and if you see a photo of us or a video of us, like that's literally us in the moment. We don't have these... Uh, scripted or, or props that we're going to do so we can hit this thing to get some likes and go viral. That, that doesn't happen, but that does happen in the world. And that does happen with a lot of parents. And again, the, the validation that comes from one second, the validation <laughs> that comes from being a parent who's gone viral, get my camera battery died. <laughs> that comes from going viral from, you know, being an individual who's seen like, oh, you're such a fun mom. You're such a great mom. You're such a great dad. The world telling you that they feed off it. 
And I don't need the world to tell me I'm a great dad. I don't need anything. The metric is my children. Now I'll associate with you. I'll associate with other men who are driven fathers. I mean, obviously we're doing Oak Rock fatherhood, being the Oak of the family, the rock of the family. We're living this. But my success as a father is not through your validation to me saying I'm a fist bump. It's through my children being strong individuals. It's through my connection with my wife and seeing these young, this young man and young woman growing up and just being healthy mentally, physically, spiritually, finding their way in the world. That's not going to come through a viral TikTok video. That's going to come through genuine growth and connection. So my aim is always to be a great father, not to appear like one that got a million likes on a video I made. Yeah, no, and that's an excellent point. It it goes to instant gratification. So with my my daughters, uh, especially my my middle daughter, she she has her own business, and they'll both come up to me and be like, "Dad, did you know? Did you see this girl who made videos on TikTok and she has three hundred million followers?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's you know that's cool, I guess." They'll talk about OnlyFans pages where like women show their feet and they have millions of followers. So there's a lot of weird things going on in the realm of social media. But again, the 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 commitment or the lessons that I try to teach my kids is you have to be willing to do the work, right? You have to stay consistent. You have to add value to the world. If you just want to do it for status, you might gain following. You might get eyes on you. But it's going to be empty. There's going to be nothing to it. It's not going to last. Right? There's nothing being built. It's the same thing with parenting. If if we want instant compliance, and we're going to use threats and force, there's nothing learned. Our kids aren't going to become better behaved, well rounded people. But if we take the time to put in the work to become a good dad, then those those results will show up later on in life when they grow up. And they're able to say, hey, if there's something I want in life, I have to go and work hard for it. I have to be dedicated. I really have to make sure that this is what I want and this is what I'm going to do. And in the process, I help people and I'm adding value to other people's lives. So I think that's a, a really important lesson to teach your kids. In the, in the age of social media, things don't have to happen instantly. right? It takes time to build anything. And it's a message that I promote often with parenting right to be a father it takes time you have to keep building continually building and the results will come so it's again it's <laughs> to me it's weird i haven't i wasn't in social media often uh pro, you know previously and getting into it uh i don't see it as a threat i enjoy it i see it as something to grow and to expand and become better well there's also a sense of pride that goes with it you know, when, when you do it right, like so your kids have their businesses and they're doing this and they're doing it the right way. They're building their business, they're putting in the reps and all of a sudden something they did catches and it goes. They're going to be so proud of that. It's, they're they're going to be like, look, I, I built this and people are seeing the, the results of my work. When you don't, haven't done any work, if you just happen to like, I'm just chasing feet videos and my, my feet went off. You're not even proud of that. You're, you're just going to chase the next thing after because there's nothing, there's no true connection happening there. There's just that fake validation. We did a video recently on raising nice guys and how you'll, you'll find a lot of love from people who don't care about you. You know, they love you because you're acting a certain way and you're allowed to be in the group when you act that way, but you're not truly connected to them because that's not who you really are. That's the makeup you're wearing. You know, it's the, the fake persona you're putting on. I'm so proud of my family. Why the hell would I not share them? Yeah. Why would I try to be the guy who's like, oh, models and bottles, you know, sex and rock and roll? No, I'm a family man with a wife and children. Why would I not be so proud to share that? If, if we're living in a timeline where you can have, you know, fancy cars, you can have these big houses, you can have these dudes doing whatever the hell they're doing or bashing families, bashing uh, marriage, bashing these things. If that's championed and praised, why can't a family man share his family and be just as proud and just as confident and standing behind it? And you know what? These women who are selling those feet pictures and shit, like whatever the hell is going on, a lot of them go viral and they don't even capitalize on it because they have nothing of value to offer after that. All they have is that one little dance they did. Your kids go viral. Hey, funnel all that to my business. Hey, I made all this money back into my business. Now my business grows and now I have something to show tangible that I can put into the world and help myself be a better person and, and expand my influence. You don't have shit to sell because all you're doing is just trying to keep up with everybody else. You're just another dancing body. People who put in the work. Hey, 
Now that I've caught your attention, come to my foundation. I have value over here to give you. I'm just not just somebody dancing or somebody sharing, you know, a photo of this or, or a video of that. I'm somebody who has a, a whole service. I have a system to offer you. If I go viral in something, I can help bring you to the fraternity of excellence. I can bring you to family. I can bring you to Oak and Rock Fatherhood. I can catch your eyeballs. I'm not a one-trick pony show. I built a system that has a strong foundation that will support the million views that go in. I can help those million people be better, you know, instead of just getting three seconds and then they scroll to the next one. No, you can grow. You can change the damn world. You can make a dent, even if it's just a millimeter, to the to the more positive side of the world and leaving your mark on it. So that's that's one of the biggest differences that I see between those who are sharing families and sharing their kids with the intention of just, I'm just proud of this. I just love this. And the same way, I'll share a photo with you. Hey, I hit a PR. I shared the video of us working out with Phil Foster. You know, I'm, hey, look at the things I'm doing. I'm just sort of sharing the story. I'm not saying, hey, kid, you know, son, daughter, come here and stand like this. And I'll smile and pretend you love me. No, <laughs> the photos that you're getting are just us doing our thing in the world. And every now and then I'm like, you know what? This one has a good story to it. So I'm going to share this one with the, the angle of educating other people. Like, this is me and this is possible. And if I can do it, you can do it. And then that, my hope, is by sharing the relationship with my spouse and children and by showing that social proof that it's real, they can take it and run with it. And it, it obviously, it's working because a lot of fathers are connecting. A lot of fathers are finding their path. And I again, the hate, it's always coming from below. It's not people with good families aren't looking at me sharing what I'm doing like, oh, look at you sharing family. They're like, good job, man. We need more peace. We need more positivity and light in the world. We need more fathers saying I love my kids and saying, oh, this ball and chain over here are keeping me from doing the things I want to do. No, dude, I love my kids. They're my fuel. I share certain parts of it. And this it is a sense of wanting to like prove like, yeah, this is who I am. But it's also just a dad bragging, <laughs> you know, and whatever. I'll, I'll take that with pride. I mean, I brag about a lot of things. I brag about the success of all the men in FOE. My family doesn't get second place. And I don't think I'm doing it in a manner that's going to in any way. I don't think them as adults will look back on any photos I've shared or anything I've messages and be like, that's that's not legit. No, and I, I think there needs to be more of it. You know, like you said before, there needs to be there needs to be a, an image of what family is and that being a father is cool. Being a father is great. And when you see somebody else building that healthy family, that high functioning family, you definitely want to say, hey, I want that. Right. How do I go about that? How do I get that? You know, it would be like if if you're a great architect and you build this great church and you keep it under a cover and never show anybody. Of course, you want to show it off. Right. You want everybody to see it because it's hard work. Bro, I love the appearances. We always have the guests. <laughs> I love them. The four legged friends. I, I can see mine running around the yard right now, dude. It, it's awesome. Dude. Hey, but uh, when it comes to that, it's real. Like, why yeah. would you hide something you love? Why would you not bring it to the light? And again, I because there are a lot of people sharing these CGI buildings. Hey, look at this building I made. Well, that's fake. You know, and that's the difference. You have to discern that. And I do recommend people, hey, if you see someone talking to you about family, and I'll, I'll be straight up, I don't trust anybody that I've not met or somebody I've met cannot vouch for. If, if I've not met you in the, if you've not met me and Anthony, you actually haven't met me with my kids. No. When that happens, you'll be like, no, that's <laughs> legit. Like, you know, me, I, we share a lot of, you know, personal things behind the scenes, but you've not met them. So there is one degree of separation that needs to be closed for it to be like, all right, yeah, legit. So you can meet him and be like, Hey, yeah, my dad, he ties us up and we're not allowed to move. And he makes us take photos of being happy. <laughs> like, you don't know. Or your son's going to tell me that you beat him with a bat every day. Like kids are awesome like that. But honestly, it should be clear. It should be clear in social media. Are you using them or are you sharing them? That's a you good should point. never be using your kids for any reason. You could be sharing nice little moments though. And again, any, my, my Facebook, my everything, it's, it's just as shitty as it is great. I share the losses and the wins. I share the struggles and the success. You know, there, there are times where as a parent, I get it wrong. And I've shared that on videos. There's a time where as parents, I crush it. I share that on, on photos and videos. So a person who's doing that, I think they're just telling their story along the way. You know, and if it's always sunshine and rainbows and kids are perfect, there, there's probably something going on behind the scenes they don't want you to see, which is why they have to project that message of, you know, everything's glorious, sunshine and rainbows.
you know, that's not life. Life, you have hot days, cold days, rainy days, dry days. Your kids are a part of that. You should never share anything that they would look back on and be like, nah, that's not legit. My life is way cooler offline than it is on. You meet us, and honestly, I mean, it's just a, it's just a fact. I don't share a lot of the cool things we do. We went on. There's a lot of things I could share and get a lot of likes <laughs> on, and I don't, you know, because I'm like, hey, that's not for the world. Yeah. Like, life is more important than electronic points. Yeah, but and how important is it to let your kids see you living a real life, and not only just living it, being authentic but showing that same life on social media, right? How many times do do we want our kids or we, we think that we want our kids to be strong individuals, to go out and forge their own path? And if we're not showing them that, if we're putting on these phony images and this fake persona, how are they supposed to judge or decide what the world really looks like? So th there's a strong lesson there um, about you know facing fears, being honest, doing things that are truthful, and how that is going to relate to your kids, how that's going to show up in the real world, in your family, right? It, we, we don't think about that often. If, if you're displaying fake image, your kids are going to see that and they're going to feed off it. And then they're going to show fake images of who they are so they get acceptance, right? Again, going back to nice guy stuff. Um, but it's, it's real important to, to be brutally honest with your children of who you are, what your values are, what you believe it's something that they might not follow, but at least they're going to learn that example, right? To do what they believe and not let other people control them. Um, well, I mean, so it's act to nonverbal, right? It's deeds, yeah. not words. If you're sharing something, if you say, oh, you amplify it. My kid hit five home runs and did all this. And your kid's like, yo, I, I didn't even get a hit that game. My dad is embarrassed that I didn't get a hit. So he had to make up a story. Or something like that, you know, we, when you're making up stories about how happy you are and your kids are like, no, that's not that's not real. They see you're not happy with who they are, and what they are, and you're building this fake version. So now they're trying to live up to this new idea, ideal, and you're, you're creating this complex. I have to be good enough for my dad to share in social media because he's not proud of me when I don't achieve X, Y, Z. And then we go back to one of the, like I said, the last video, you have set a bar to where they've got to be someone that will make you happy. Because you only share them. You only share that you're proud. You only share photos or you only put it out to the world that you're proud of them when they do a certain thing that will be liked by other people. Instead of your dad saying, I love you. As you are who you are and who you're becoming. That's who I love. And that's what I share. And that's what I bring to the world. That's what I do. That's what I, my, my ultimate goal is to not exaggerate or amplify shit. My real life is awesome. My kids are awesome. And that's what I'm sharing with the world. And if, if anybody is taking a different approach with their kids then yes, you are doing it wrong. You should not put your kids in a position where they've got to be a certain thing that you think other people will like for you to show love and to show appreciation and show respect. Yeah, and you know what? There'll be a lot of parents who say, why are you doing this, right? Why why make a point to, to emphasize how great your life is or how well-behaved your kids are? You know, we get this with spanking a lot. I say, don't spank your kids. And if people say, it's my kids, would you care what I do? Well, there will eventually be a point in time where my kids will meet your kids in the world. And I don't want them to be interacting with other kids who are emotionally reactive, who have no self-regulation, who are violent. Um, it's, it's the same thing, right? I think we need more promotion or more emphasis on how important what we're doing is, right? How important it is to raise healthy kids. And we shouldn't let those who, who find it uncomfortable stop us from doing what we're doing. We should keep spreading the message, having our voice and telling them, hey, no, we need to stop hitting kids. Hey, no, we need to stop manipulating kids. And I don't care if if you don't understand this. This is why it's good. This is why you should stop. And, um, you know, that, that's how slowly things change, right? That, that's how things get improved. And I think it falls into your ultimate question that you, you stump people on. You once stumped me on. You read books about fitness, you read books about finance, you don't read about parenting. Why? Why is playing the greatest role you played in the life? Why does that not become a priority? We'll yeah. say that we should not praise poverty. You know, we, we should praise self-sufficiency and, and getting your, your finances dialed in. We shouldn't praise health at every size. No, we should praise people who are healthy and living healthy lives. Why does fatherhood and family fall off that list? Why should we not praise family? Why should we not share family? Why should we not put those positive messages into the world? Not using them as props. But in the sense of sharing your connection and how many times, dude, 
both of our inboxes, both of us have gotten the message inside FOE and publicly. Hey, I saw this Oak and Rock video and I never thought about talking to my kids like that. If we hadn't made the video, that would not have happened. If I hadn't shared that photo of my family and hey, here's an angle I did or here's what I did with the kids and it worked. No, that, that father never would have seen that. So they never would have tried it. And we had a call this morning. One of the men in that we said, I didn't do the things that you were talking about because I didn't even know those were options. That's yes. why we're doing this. We're sharing like, hey, here's a different approach you can take. It's not just A, B, and C that you can choose from. You don't have to yell at them, spank them, or use them as props. You can be real with them. You can grow with them. You can sit and talk to them. Those were choices you didn't know you had in this test of life. Yeah, it's amazing to see it unravel also. Right, that light bulb goes off and... I love it. Yeah, no, it's a good thing. <laughs> All right. We got another episode in the books. Oak and Rock Fatherhood. Zach, let's... Um, where can people find you? What's the best places besides Oak and Rock? Well, as always, thefamilyalpha.com. That's my go-to. And then you've got Fraternity of Excellence. If you're looking for the private men's group, at Zach Small underscore on all things. That Z-A-C Small underscore. Instagram, Twitter. I'm pretty active. Probably sharing photos of my kids. All right. I'm Anthony Miglarino from Peaceful Fathers. This has been another episode of Oak and Rock Fatherhood.